Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Chest and g'day, y'all. So we are carrying on with the bylock, and today I'm going to be working on these two legs. Um, I'm going to have to remove the wheels and uh, clean them up and degrease them and sort them out. Uh, there's two screws under here to remove them from the body, so that's not too bad. And I need to be able to remove these wheels out of it so it would be a lot easier to get access so yeah let's crack on Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so in order for me to be able to just take the legs off, I had to strip the entire thing down, which is not a bad thing, but uh, yes, it wasn't just a case of stripping the legs down. So at this way, it looks like the cover of a old fashioned sewing machine. And when it's like this, it looks like some form of baby's crib. Now, this is gonna be for another day. The bottom plate came out as well. So that's gonna need some attention and some varnishing and cleaning. Wood's not in excellent condition, but it'll be all put back together. This is the motor that we can see inside here. It sits inside this housing, which I assume will be quite easy to take apart and to remove the motor from here. The switch, the toggle switch on this is knackered. So I have a new switch for it, so that's not a problem. Um, and yeah, the motor looks like a kind of Hoover motor, like a Hoover Junior motor. Hmm. Seems to be in pretty good condition, so I will take it out and blast it, lubricate the bearings on it, and the motor on it didn't sound too, too bad to be honest, it just sounded dry, so uh, we will take a look at that, but again, that's for another video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is these legs. Now, unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea how to remove these wheels off this. I uh, don't want to particularly start yanking and stuff because this wood, even though these legs are probably good wood, it is solid wood, um, I still don't want to start messing around with it. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash, I'm just going to have to wash the wheels with a, tooth, with a toothbrush that I have here. Just wash all the crud and crunch off them as best I can and then try and sort of like clean up the metal. I'm not going to be able to do a fantastic job on the wheels but at least that they will run a lot smoother um, and then we can start sanding down the wood. So let me go clean up the wheels and uh, then I can mask them off and then carry on then with the sanding and see if we can make this look a little bit better, get it sanded and varnished in this video. So yeah, I'll be back when these are done. Well washed anyway.